Over the course of this last year, I've become obsessed with reading books, and honestly, I kind of feel like I might be in my reading era. This summer, I've made it taking the time to read a priority and have loved every single minute of it. I quite literally went from the girl who never read a book in her life to the girl who was staying up until 3 a.m. to finish her book. In total, I read seven books over the summer months, which I know doesn't seem like a lot, but I had a very busy schedule, so I'm proud of myself for reading as much as I did. Now that the leaves have started to change colors and it is officially hoodie season, I thought now would be the perfect time to tell you guys about my ratings, reviews, and just my overall thoughts of all the books that I've read over the summer. And of course, no spoilers. Starting off with a bang, I read the Inheritance Games trilogy, which actually I just found out there's a fifth book coming out. I'm not sure how I feel about that. The first book that I read this summer was The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I actually started reading this and read about 100 pages during the school year, but honestly my senior year was just so crazy and chaotic that I never actually finished reading it, so I started reading it again in late June and I flew through it. I got through this book so fast, it was insane. I love the big text, I love how short the chapters are, it is such an easy read, so much fun. I absolutely love it. If you haven't read The Inheritance Games before, it is basically about this young girl, Avery, who basically inherits a very very large amount of money in a very short amount of time, and in order to keep the inheritance and do whatever she feels with it, she has to stay in Hawthorne House for one year. And basically you get to know more of her story and then you get to meet the four Hawthorne brothers. And honestly just the whole premise of the book, it's full of secret hidden passageways, clues, hints, riddles. I was obs- I'm, I'm still obsessed. This is such a good book. Highly, 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 highly recommend this. This is like- I don't know if this is a five star book. I think it might be a six star book. When I tell you this was so good amazing. Then of course following that I read The Hawthorne Legacy and this one honestly was amazing as well. I did rate this a 4.7 star just because without giving it away there's a few different parts that I feel like were just kind of written weird and it just wasn't my personal favorite how certain things happened. But overall love the book so 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 good. And more recently, it just came out in paperback, was The Final Gambit. This was actually the last book that I just finished yesterday. And before reading it, I heard some very mixed reviews, which to be honest, I really don't understand. A lot of people said they really didn't like this book, and I don't really understand why. Because I loved it. I would probably give it a 4.75 stars just because I don't think anything is going to beat the first book. But I really liked this. I also flew through reading this one. They're just so easy to read. They're so much fun. I literally could not put it down. I think I read over 120 pages yesterday to finish it. So good. Obsessed. The next book is The Hawthorne Brothers, which I don't... I don't know. But now... Miss Jennifer Lynn Barnes has revealed that it, there is going to be a fifth book, but nobody knows like anything about it. I kind of, this might sound bad, but I kind of think it should stay a trilogy, maybe with like the fourth book, but I don't know, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to read the next books as soon as they come out, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. The next two books in the series kind of just follow where the first one left off and I love how everything just ties together and comes full circle. Everything is revealed. Overall though, I really, really loved this series. This is by far a five star series. I love it and I'm definitely going to be starting The Naturals next. So excited. On a completely different note, the next book that I read was Reminders of Him by Colleen Hooper. Now, before starting this book, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even read the back. I just went right into it. Not at all what I was expecting. The premise of the story revolves around Kenna, and we are told about her story that she made a mistake, a very, very costly mistake, five years ago, and she is just trying to reconnect and refine herself after spending some time in prison and you kind of just find out more about her story and her past and it's a very... Uh, how do I want to word it? I feel like it takes the right person to read this personally. It wasn't really my taste. I don't, I'm kind of conflicted. The overall storylines and some of the subjects that are talked about in this book are 
very deep and I think it does take the right person in order to read this book to really fully enjoy it. I think I'm gonna rate it like a 2.5 stars personally just because it's not my personal taste in reading. It just wasn't my personal favorite. Next up, I really don't know what my favorite book is at this point because of this book. I have seen everyone and their mother talk about this book. It has literally blown up everywhere and it is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I've heard a lot about Lynn Painter and I am so excited to read more of her books. Oh my god, this book is so good. It's so cute, it's so sweet, it's just so like happy, giggly, bubbly. I am such a big movie person and now I'm such a big book person and just the two of those together combined in this was, oh, so good. In this there is so many movie references which I understood most of them and that to me just screams the perfect book. I think this might be my favorite. I'm not even gonna lie. It was so good. It was just so well written, so funny, so full of humor. And the connection that builds between these characters. Oh, oh so good. I loved it. In this book we get to know Liz who is a hopeless romantic just hoping and praying to find just that one true love in her life and is conflicted and thrown every single obstacle possible which I think personally is what makes this book so funny is because she's looking for like her movie magic perfect man and perfect movie romance type situation and she's just thrown everything that is the complete opposite and I think that is hilarious. This is a classic childhood enemies to lovers novel and I seriously seriously love it. It was so good. This is a five star read. It might be a six star read. I I think this might be my favorite. <laughs> On a completely different note, I read The People, nope, not The, I read People We Meet On Vacation by Emily Henry, and I've heard a lot of Emily Henry books that were super good, like Beach Read and Book Lovers and everything in between, but I haven't really heard much about this, and I think there's probably a reason why. I did not like this book. I didn't like it on page one. And, but I didn't want to put it down because I wanted to give it a chance and I read it through. I just didn't see a connection with the characters. We meet Poppy and Alex who have been friends since college and they always go on a vacation every year but then something happens that causes their friendship to break and it just, it didn't do it for me. It really didn't. I think I'm also going to give this like a 2, 2.5 stars. It just, I didn't feel a connection between the characters. I didn't like the writing, which is so weird because I've heard so much about Emily Henry. And I'm sure she is an amazing author, but personally, this book is just not my personal taste. And then we have this book. I read Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. This is the perfect cute little summer romance type book. Oh my gosh. I, want, I, I almost want to read it again. It's just so fun. So cute. The story is about Fern Brookbanks who met a boy named Will about 10 years ago. 10 years ago? 9? I forget. Well, 9 or 10 years ago and they made a promise to each other that they will meet by the lake and he never shows up. Fern has to make the decision of whether or not she will take over her mother's business at the resort and it is just such a cute little romance book. I I loved this book. This is also another five star read for me. I know some people said there was no connection but oh, I loved it. So good. This was just such a fun little second chance romance and it was so so perfect for a summer read. So those are all the books that I read over the summer. Honestly I'm really proud of myself because I am a super slow reader. So the fact that I got through this many books over my crazy summer is amazing. I am so excited to continue on my reading journey and I hope you guys will stick around to come with me. If you guys have any sort of book regs please leave them down in the comments. I am so excited for this fall and winter just to read all sorts of books. Maybe I'll even make another recap video of everything that I read in fall and winter. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!